Okay. Are you ready? Yep. All right, slinging in here with Go Radio on the Fearless Friends Tour on November 6, 2010. Uh, we are with Matt. And what do you do with Matt? Play bass. Play bass. All right, I just got 10 questions to ask cool. you. Um, first one is a standard question is uh, who is your current tattoo artist? If you have more than one, feel free to name them in the shop they work at. Um, most recently I've been tattooed by Alex Nunez. He actually lives in Costa Rica right now and tattoos for himself. I don't think he has a shop. Um, but I'm from Tallahassee. Uh, I've been tattooed. Artists move a lot there. Um, Mike Tootin Shop, um, Fine Art for Life. And I got tattooed a lot by a guy named Mike Burnside, but I, that was so long ago I don't even know where he's at these days. But I, I heard he might be in it. Atlanta, or you might be in Savannah, but Mike Burnside is probably the guy who's done the most tattoos on me. Sweet. And Kyle Malone in Minnesota is the shit, too. Alright, um, this is going to, um, I just figured out that, you know, your lead singer used to be the lead singer made Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Um, how is that with you guys being on the same tour? Is there any awkwardness at all? No, or? we, we're all from Tallahassee. We, uh, I've known them, most of those guys since they were like 14, 15 years old, and um, we've been hanging out in the same bars and the same area for ten years. So it's at school, it's just like being on the road with a bunch of buddies. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty awesome that you guys kind of can still stick together. Because usually when a band member leaves, they never talk to them again. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's been a while too. You know, it was over three and a half years ago. So if, if there was ever anything, which I don't think there was, it just kind of died out. Away, yeah, it goes away. Alright. Now, um, I was researching on your band name um, that came out of a Mayday Parade side project name. Um, what's the meaning behind your band name? Uh, originally, we had like a bunch of different concepts, but Jason and I started this project, um, and before there was music, he said, I want to call it Go Radio. And I said, uh, why? He said, it's got a nice ring to it, don't you think? <laughs> he said, I've already been writing some songs that are kind of Go Radio minded sounds like something and I said oh, alright let's give it a shot and we tried like 20 other names not 20 maybe 10 other names <laughs> that we were like this is cool but we always came back to go radio and uh, that's just what we've always been right on now with the this goes back just a little bit but uh, with the leaving of uh, Patrick Cozy and then later Tony Planes, yeah. um how did that affect the band and um, and also how did it how did it affect as far as Alex going being a touring guitar player to being a full time band member yeah, uh, when me and Jason started this band, uh, we immediately signed up Steve, who's our current drummer, and Patrick, who's the original guitar player, and uh, we knew what we wanted to do. We wanted to make this as big as we could, we wanted to tour as long as we could, as often, write as much music, and just be gone. And Patrick kind of had his own thing. He, uh, I don't think, he, I think he, he'd like... He joined the Navy right after he got out of our band. Like I think he wanted something else out of life besides music, which is great because he's a phenomenal songwriter. But he wa wanted something else. And uh, Tony got married, and touring is not easy. I'm getting married in December. I know. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's man. like uh, thank you, brother. It's uh, it's just it wasn't made for it. And Alex signed up, and we took him on for like a year and a half, and he toured with us, and he fit right, and he's young enough and smart, and he, he's great. So it's, it, it works. It works fucking perfectly. Sweet. And uh, how was it working with uh, Tim O'Hara in the studio, who produced acts like the All American Rejects, Hot Rod Circuit, The Starting Line, and, and Say Anything? Yeah, he's amazing. He also did like Sebado and Dinosaurs Jr. in the '90s. Like, he's nice. yeah, he's the shit. He, um, I was way in to go and work with him. And once we got in there, it was like it was real rough at first because he's old school, old school rock guy. And um, you know, it's a different process, and we just bided our process to be like his and uh and i think I, I know for a fact the record is 10 times better because he he instead of just like being like what is the song he kind of he, he made every song go how can this be the best it can be and we're gonna try until we get it right we're not gonna take anything less than 100 percent he's amazing yeah tim o'hare man and he's an old school rock and roll guy you can't go wrong with that <laughs> shit you there know? you go um, now, your new album, which is on Fearless Records, Do-Overs and Second Chances, mm -hmm. uh, where'd you guys come up with that name, and what's the inspiration behind it? I think part of the name for that record comes from the fact that, uh, kind of the age, the age of me and Jason and Steve, 
Eve more than anything. Not saying Alex wasn't part of it, uh, but it's just we've all and Alex has been touring since he's like 15. You know, we've all been doing this for so long, and it's one of those things where when we did this, we want to do a fresh start. And that was our second EP that we released, but it was on a label, and it was kind of like a deep breath, like okay, here we go, we're gonna do it again, but let's fucking do it. It's you know, balls to the wall type thing, and uh, this is our second chance, so you know, let's, let's make the absolute out of it. So nice. Um, now, besides from Go Radio, do any of you guys have any side projects, or you have any uh, collaborations in the future with, in, with any other bands? Uh, me and my tour manager are in a dubstep project called Duster Button. Um, <laughs> uh, Jason's always writing. He's got a million songs all the time. Um, but other than that, no. I mean, we really don't have time. I've seen my fiance three weeks in the past six months. You know what I mean? Like that mm-hmm. doesn't leave much time to to uh, write other music, and you know. Right plus, on. we just we did thirty songs for the new record. Like we had to demo them and all that. So we've just been exhausting all of our uh, creativity essentially on this this new record that's coming out next year. So right on. Uh, do you guys got any pre-show rituals? Any crazy fan stories or crazy tour stories? Pre-show ritual. Yeah, we usually. Uh, uh, sit in the van or the bus, depending. Sit in the vehicle. Um, I'll have a drink. We just fucking put on some chill music, chill out, uh, and then right before, put on something a little, you know, a little, little bumpy, a little zesty, and then we go. And the one thing we always do is um, we um, end right side stage, and right before we walk on stage, put our hands in. I look around the boys. I give about a 30-second speech about whatever the fuck's on top of my mind, about where we're at, what's going on. It always ends with, we are Go Radio. This is America. If you don't like it, everyone else get the fuck out. <laughs> Sweet. And that's our pre show ritual. Sounds that's like a cool. typical Florida band. <laughs> <laughs> actually, we're, we're, we're actually from Florida. Oh, awesome. Which is awesome. So Very cool. I know that uh, Mady is also from yep. Florida, which mm-hmm. is pretty cool. Um, uh, do you guys have any uh, asp- any aspiring uh, words for any upcoming bands that are trying to make it like you guys? I mean, that, that's a good question, and I, I have the same answer every time. I mean, uh, it's if it's w- if it's in you, if it's what you want to do, you have to do it. You know, uh, I've been doing this for a really long time. You know, um, I'll, I'll be 29 in March and. I haven't stopped, and finally we are, gr- this project, is this band is growing, Jason's done it, same amount of time Steve has been doing, you know, we've all been doing this for so long with the intention of not stopping, and, you know, don't take no for an answer because all you're going to hear is no, until one time you'll hear yes, and you take that yes, and you do what you want, you make the music that you want to make, and if, if, if it's meant to be your life, then make it your life. Right on. And last but not least, uh, besides your current album, Do Overs and Second Chances and the Fearless Friends Tour, do you guys have any other big plans coming up? Uh, what does the future hold as far as do you guys plan on doing any music videos, any other tours? Most importantly, um, early next year, our new record is coming out. Nice. It hasn't been named yet, but that's the record we did with Tim O'Hare. Um, and it'll be released first couple months of the year. Um, and that's. The, definitely the biggest thing going on with us. We'll be touring nonstop, but most important is that record. Uh, we poured everything we had into it, so make sure everyone keeps their eye out for them. Awesome, so. man. Thank you. Ooh, definitely yeah. thank you for taking the time yeah, to uh, interview with